So I'm going to show you how to make a first model in T-Tool and simulate that model. Okay, uh, I assume that you are able to start T-Tool and that you can see uh, uh, this uh, window. So at first, we're going to create a model. I clicked on new and then I make a right click in the main panel and I select new design. Okay, I've got a first view which corresponds to a CSML block diagram. I'm going to create a new block. I click on the icon and then I click on the panel and obtain block. Double click, I can rename it. I'm going to call it hello world generator. Okay, then I would like to generate a hello world signal that will be received by a second block called hello world receive. Okay, for these two blocks to communicate, I need to create a signal, an output signal for hello world generator and an input signal for hello world receiver. To do this, I double click in the block, I select signals, it's an out signals that I'm going to call hello world and it will take as parameter an int which is an ID of this message. Add signals, it's now listed there, save and close. And same for the other block, it's an input signal in, I'm going to call this hello world. Let's change its name to show that it's possible to have two connected signals with different names. It takes as parameter another element in uh, info. Add signal, save and close. Now I've got two signals in the two different blocks and I'm going to connect those two blocks with a port connector from one block to another one. Then I double click on this link and I can select the signals I want to as associate. So I want to associate hello world to hello world sig. Sign and close. Okay. Now those two signals are associated. Okay, now I need to give a behavior to the two blocks. So I can double click on this icon and go in the hello world generator state machine. So first I create a state okay, that I will call waiting for period. Okay, I'm creating a second state, which I call send hello world. And there, I want to do this only after a given time, which is 10 units of time. Okay, after the send hello world state, I would like to send a signal, I click on send signal icon, I select hello world, I select this signal and I'm going to send a value which is x. Okay. Because I'm using an x, I've got to create an attribute which name is x and I will set an initial value which is what? Well, which is one. And the idea is that I would like to send this signal 10 times. So after sending hello world, I'm going to go in a state which is, uh, which I could call is finished. And before this, I would like to, in this transition there, I would like to increment x. I would like to do x is equal to x plus 1. Hello world, incrementing x is finished. So to send it 10 times, I need to see 
if x is equal to more than 10, if x is more than 10, then I will go to the final state. Otherwise, I would like to go back to waiting for period. Make squares. There now. Okay. Perfect. So now, each time I'm going back here, I'm going to do this again until x is equal to 10. But I need to say that I'm taking this branch only when this one is not possible. Okay. I'm sending the signal, but I need to have a receiver. That receiver is going to wait forever for this signal. Waiting for hello world signal. I'm clicking on receive signal. I'm selecting this signal with Y in that case. And I'm going back to the state before. Next square. OK. So I've got my two blocks, and I'm ready to simulate that system. So first, I need to verify the syntax of this diagram, syntax analysis. I, I first need to save the model to be able to verify the syntax. I'm going to call it hello world. Okay, now I can run the syntax analysis. Oh, oops, I've got an error. I need to go into syntax analysis tree, errors, oh. There is an error here, which is I didn't declare the Y attribute. So I need to do it. Attributes Y, which is an int. Okay, now we're going to simulate the system. So this simulation window opens, and I'm going to put this on the right and put the simulation window on the left. OK, the simulation window contains three different elements. Control of the simula simulation, simulation and information, and a tracing of the simulation trace with a sequence diagram. OK, so this is a transaction, planning transaction of the system. So this is its transaction, which is proposed by the simulator. This class is here. This block is here, but cannot perform a transaction because this signal cannot be received. So let's do this first, one step. 10, now this system is in sun hello world. One step again. This signal has been exchanged. This one is still here, but now we see that this transition has been taken one time. But of course, this state has been reached two times. And we continue again. X is now equal to 2 in Hello World generator, and Y is equal to 1 in Hello World receiver. One step. This, this signal has been exchanged. Now the value of X and Y is equal to 2. OK, now we're going to increment X. X now is equal to 3. OK, this could be long to do all this loop. So what we can do is we can set a breakpoint on this state. Add breakpoint. OK, now there is a breakpoint. And I'm going to say now I want to go to next breakpoint. Next breakpoint. Next breakpoint. It's going much faster. X is equal to 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now we're done. So the status is terminated and the simulation lasted 
100 units of time and we've made 126 transactions. And of course, if you go there, we've been through this action 10 times. Now I can quit the simulation and if you want to do more things on the model, which includes, for example, doing some formal verification, you can use other videos. Enjoy the tool!